in the real estate industry, we're always trying to figure out how do we make more money? I'm just like all of you. I am a real estate agent trying to make a living. I have real estate agents that work for our brokerage trying to make a living. And we're trying to figure out what it's like to be an entrepreneur, especially if you're new. Even if you're not new, we're still trying to figure out how do we work smarter? How do we work better? So in this episode, I really wanted to talk to you about your goals, your money, and your schedule. Or how about real estate goals and growth? You're probably like, Carrie, just told me, show me how to make a paycheck. I've got some other videos for you, but let, let's, let's talk about the basics of goals, money, and your schedule. So number one, I always, when I, especially when I talk to new real estate agents, whether they're the agents in my office or whether I'm training at a local association or for those that are in my membership, you really need to know how much money you need. Like how much money do you need to make a living? And when you know how much money you need to make, then you'll, you actually know how many transactions you need. I like to use tools like InfoSparks. I like to use the multiple listing service to kind of help me with strategy because my market might be different from your market. And if I knew that my median sales price was $300,000 per transaction, I now know if I if my goal is to make $50,000 a year or $100,000 a year, how many transactions do I need to sell to make a living? Now, so number one, know how much money you need to make. Now, and then you'll, you'll work, then you'll tie in your transactions. Now, number two, let's, let's talk about the money and knowing how to figure out how much money you need to make. Now, I will go, well, maybe, maybe we'll go this route. So I like to use a, uh, a monthly budget, and then I like to break it down into an annual budget. So when I say monthly budget planner, I like to challenge everyone, especially if you're an entrepreneur. So if you are watching this and you're a real estate agent, a loan officer, an inspector, an appraiser, or anyone that's in a business where you have to make your own living, I always like to say, figure out how much money do you need to make to break even? And I mean, break even. We can talk about savings, you know, additional money, but how much money do you need to break even? And you could even put in, when I say breaking even, it could simply be breaking even might include your savings. So um, I like to start with, you know, what is you what where are your income sources? Many of us are full time real estate agents, but if you're dual career, maybe you have, you know, your dual. So you have your real estate sales, you have your dual career. If you were dual career, or in my case, I am a broker owner, I'm a real estate agent, and I'm an instructor. So I could easily have three income sources. Now, if you have a dual household, then you'd have four income sources. So write down where, where all of your money comes from by month. Then I want you to look at your um, expenses. Like what are your, what are your expenses? And I mean, you know, what are your association fees? What are your company real estate fees? What are your marketing fees? So we have a few ways we look at expenses. You're going to have your personal expenses and you're going to have your business expenses. And then, and when I say personal, I, I might even say, you know, miscellaneous expenses, housing, food, transportation, healthcare, because you're self-employed. What are your debt payments? Um, do you go, you know, do you take a break? Recreation, do you go on vacation? What are your savings and investments? How much do you pay in taxes or even childcare? And then, so you could easily have two columns for that. You could use this sheet. So again, you could build it out monthly. And then once you build it out monthly, then I want you to, uh, you know, multiply that by 12. And then you know how much money you need to make every single year. So number one was how much money do you need to make? And then you'll know how many transactions. Number two is you need to break down, you know, your where that money, how, how your money is divided. Let me say that back. Number two is money. You must know your expenses, your business expenses, what amount do you need for your household? How much do you need to make for your business? And how much do you need to make to survive at home? And maybe even savings. And number three, you need to plan your work schedule. Like, when are you going to work? When are you going to work? If we were looking at a, I did it two ways. If we were looking at a calendar, you need to figure out when you're going to actually work. Because if you were to go to work for someone else, you get up, you get dressed, you go to work, you are on a clock, maybe let's say it's from nine to five, 
and you are there to work and you're getting a paycheck. So it's easy to just show up to work. But as a real estate agent, you have to give yourself a schedule. So you show up to work, even when you don't have money, we get up every day to earn a paycheck. So I need you to figure that out. So plan your work schedule. When are you going to work? What will you do daily, weekly, monthly? And I really like the book, uh, The 12 Week Year. I believe that's the name of the book. I'll put the link um, down in the description. Because if you worked by quarter, it will help you plan. So you might need to know, again, what you're going to do every day. And every day might mean Monday, you're going to follow up. Tuesday, Tuesday through Every day should be a lead generation day, but let's just say it's Tuesday through Wednesday, you're working on lead generation, and then every single day you're working on social media, and then once a month you have a day where you get all of your videos done, or maybe once a month you have a day where you get all of your direct mail done. I should come back and talk about, you know, the goal of email marketing. So number three, plan your work schedule. When are you going to work? You need to know when you're going to work daily what you're going to do that week and then uh, monthly. And then I like the 12 week calendar because then, you know, you need to take a break. How many transactions do you need every single month? So, you know, I'm Carrie Little, the designated managing broker of Caremark Realty Group in Illinois and in Florida. And I really want all of you to, to succeed. So goals, money, and your schedule. Number one, how many transactions do you need? Number two, of those transactions, how much money do you actually need to make? You need to know your business expenses and your personal expenses. And then number three, plan your work schedule. If you go to the description, I'd love to hear from you. Do you have questions? And I'll give you the link to, um, I'll actually, maybe I'll give you my, my monthly calendar or budget. And then I'll also give you the link to the 12 week year, a really good book for any entrepreneur. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're like, Carrie, I really want to learn to earn with you. Take advantage of a quick way to jumpstart your real estate career. Watch that video. And then you might also want to look at the video on building wealth as a real estate agent. Thanks for watching.